and you can see here we're very close to an A star if we've got 100% so far and we're actually uh, just over three quarters of the way through the paper so it's getting, getting very close to the end pause the video now and have a go okay so you can see it's a circle theorem question so you just need to remember all the circle theorems it's always worth just making sure you read the statements here I know a lot of it's shown on the diagram but occasionally there's quite important things hidden in uh, in these now um, it says that the angle DAB is 50 well that's on the diagram and uh, those points are the circumference of the circle which we can sort of guess that's the center well that's quite an important piece of information uh, because a lot of circle rely on uh, rely on us having the center and those two are tangents. Okay, so work out the size of angle BCD. So the first thing I do, and I'm just going to zoom in on this uh, if I can, make it a bit easier uh, to see. So um, first thing I do is mark on the uh, on the diagram where BCD is. So BCD is this one here. So I know which one I'm trying to find. The angle is always the one in the middle when they're written as three letters so just imagine going from B to C to D and that marks out where the angle is it's this one here okay now um, first thing I notice is that we've got two radii here radius is defined as a line between the center of a circle and the circumference which we have two of here so that means that this here is going to be 90 degrees because and I'm going to write these down maybe in a bit. Uh, in fact, let's write this down now. I should have enough space. Okay, so hopefully it won't get too messy. So angle, so A, B, O, and A, D, O equal 90 degrees angle between um, tangent and radius and that's, abs that's absolutely fine uh, you might want to say is 90 degrees that's absolutely fine to write down okay so we've got the first one written down okay let's have a look at doing another one so and with circle theorems it's always best just to try and find out as many as you can find out as many angles as you can and see if it actually helps so here we've got 50 degrees here 90 there 90 there or we've got a uh, quadrilateral there and it's actually a kite but we've got a quadrilateral here and what we know is angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 now these two add up to 180 which means these two have to add up to 180 as well to make them add up to, uh, to 360 so I want to do uh, 180 minus 50 which will give me 130 okay so let's go back to my proof so um, A B O D is quadrilateral um, so well, actually I don't need to write that I can just write the angle so B O D equals 130 and then just in brackets uh, angles in quad the lateral add to 360 degrees. I don't need the capital letter there. Okay, so we've got the angle there. So if I mark on the angle, so we can keep track, that's 130 there. Now, looking at this, there's another circle theorem we can use. If you notice, we've got an angle at the center and we're looking for the angle at the circumference 
Now the circle theorem says the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So if I flip that around, the angle at the circumference will be half of the angle at the center. So I want to do 130 divided by 2, which would give me 65 degrees. So that one's going to be 65 degrees. And we will run right down the proof, so all the reasons. So uh, B, C, D equals 65 degrees. Angle at center, or angle at circumference is half angle at center. Again, I've done capital A there, I don't know why. So either write down angle at center is twice the angle at circumference, or angle at circumference is half angle at center. It's the same thing. Um, there is, uh, There are other ways of getting the right answer, but however, this will give you uh, full marks. So if we have a look at the masking, and we can see the answer it gives us, uh, the answer it gives us 65, and they've done it the same way as us there. They've also, uh, I think, used alternate segment theorem. Yeah, they have um, there. But it gives you the keywords they're looking for um, down the side here. Um, so uh, I think it, as long as you use these three brackets here, you're absolutely fine, so, which is the ones we did, uh, we've did. we done. Angle between tangent and radius, 90 degrees. Angles in quadrilateral add up to 360. Angle at center is twice the angle at circumference. And that's the actual circle theorem. Uh, so they might want it that way around, I don't think it matters. Okay, uh, and it says except angle at circumference is half the angle at the center, so they're happy with that.